Every country has a central bank, issuing currency, managing monetary policy, and making sure that the banking system is well-oiled and functioning smoothly. With the creation of the euro, European leaders decided that the currency needed its very own central bank. Headquartered in Frankfurt, it has a president. Currently, it's Italian Mario Draghi. The president is part of an executive board, which oversees day-to-day -day business. It's comprised of former national bank governors and high-level banking executives chosen by the European Council. The ECB dwarfs all other banks in Europe, overseeing the monetary affairs of the 19 countries of the Eurozone. It's also a supranational institution, independent of member state control, but accountable to the public. Its main role is to maintain price stability in the Eurozone. It has to keep the rate of inflation close to or below 2%. It is also exclusively in charge of issuing Euros and setting monetary policy for the Eurozone. At the height of the financial crisis in 2008, the ECB had to navigate through a few tough years, bailing out Eurozone countries in economic downturn. After the crisis relented, a fail-safe against further crises was set up. The banking union moved Europe away from bailing out banks to bailing them in. And the ECB's role in all of this? To control Europe's banks under the single supervisory mechanism. It seems to be cut. 